Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Prostate cancer, external beam radiation. Introduction. Cancer of the prostate is the most common form of cancer that affects men. Millions of men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year. Your healthcare provider may have recommended radiation therapy for your prostate cancer. This program will help you understand the benefits and risks of radiation therapy. Prostate anatomy The prostate is one of the male sex glands. It is located just below the bladder, the organ that collects and empties urine. The prostate is in front of the rectum, the lower part of the intestine, where solid wastes are stored. The prostate is about the size of a walnut. It surrounds the urethra, the tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. The prostate makes fluid that makes up most of the semen, the white fluid in which sperm travels. The prostate is affected by male sex hormones. Hormones are substances that control functions of the body. The most important male hormone is testosterone, which is produced by the testicles. Radiation therapy Radiation therapy is the use of high-energy radiation to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. External radiation therapy may come from a machine outside the body. Internal radiation therapy and brachytherapy comes from putting materials that produce radiation in the area where the cancer cells are found. Because the rays cannot be directed perfectly, they may damage both cancerous and healthy cells nearby. If the dose of radiation is small and spread over time, the cancer cells die while the healthy cells are able to recover and survive. Radiation therapy usually is given for prostate cancer that is not spread to other parts of the body, such as lungs and bones. Radiation therapy may also help stop the cancer from spreading further. Radiation therapy may cure the disease if the cancer is in its early stages. Radiation therapy may also relieve pain if the prostate cancer is spread to the bones. In some cases, cancer may recur after radiation therapy. Your healthcare provider may recommend other treatments in addition to radiation therapy to make it more likely that the cancer will not come again. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. External beam radiation A machine is used to aim high-energy x-rays to the cancer tissue. The machine changes position so that the beams can enter from different angles. Before beginning radiation therapy, your radiation therapy team will plan the treatment first. During the planning visit, a process called simulation will be conducted. During simulation, the target area will be outlined and defined. The surface of your skin will be marked where the beam will enter the body. The reference marks are made of ink. They are placed on your skin and lined up with laser lights to position you accurately for treatment. The red laser light is not harmful and is used for positioning. Next, CT scans will be obtained to determine the most appropriate way to deliver radiation therapy. This allows your healthcare provider to deliver the appropriate radiation dose at the right locations. This, in turn, limits radiation of normal tissue and reduces early and late side effects. During radiation therapy, you or your treatment area must be immobilized so that each radiation treatment targets the same area. This also makes it possible to reproduce the radiation in the next therapy sessions. Your healthcare provider may use a body cast to immobilize you in the treatment position. Also, custom made blocks are made to protect normal areas. The CT scans used for planning radiation are performed on a flat tabletop similar to the radiation treatment table. 
your radiation oncologist and the healthcare team will review the results of the computerized treatment planning and determine the most suitable treatment method. Radiation therapy is usually not started during the planning visit. Radiation therapy will be delivered daily, Monday through Friday, for approximately seven to eight weeks for a curative course. Each visit takes about 20 to 30 minutes. You will meet with your health care provider on a regular basis to discuss your progress. In the radiation therapy room, you may be asked to change into a hospital gown. The therapist will then position you on the treatment table. The therapist will leave the room and start the radiation treatments. You should lie still and breathe naturally. You will hear mechanical sounds coming from the machine. When a treatment ends, the therapist will help you off the table. After you have completed all planned radiation treatments, your radiation oncologist will monitor your progress by scheduling follow-up visits. Risks and Side Effects the side effects of external beam radiation can include either early or late side effects. Early side effects are usually temporary and start happening from the fourth week on. Late side effects might happen six months or one to two years after you have completed radiotherapy. The early side effects of external radiation treatment to the prostate are related to changes that happen in the normal tissues surrounding the prostate during radiation therapy. Organs affected by radiation therapy include the bladder, bowel, colon, rectum, skin. There could be some itchiness or discomfort in the perineal skin. This is the area between the scrotum and the anus. This could be treated with specific ointments or creams and instructions on how to keep the perineal area dry and clean. There could be some darkening of the skin in the anal area. Radiation may affect the lining of the rectum and bowels, causing some abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, and excessive gases and cramping. These can be treated with diarrhea and gas medications. Radiation may affect the lining of the urinary bladder, increasing frequency of urination and causing a burning sensation on passing urine. On some occasions, when the prostate is quite large, it might cause urinary retention. These signs can be treated with urinary bladder medication. Radiation therapy may cause a loss of pubic hair. Hair usually grows back after treatment. Radiation therapy may cause some fatigue, which is best treated with rest and relaxation. The late side effects are caused by scarring, which might happen in the radiation area on the inside or the outside of the body. This is usually tolerated quite well by most patients. In a small number of patients, radiation might produce changes in the lining of the rectum, colon, or urinary bladder, and narrowing of the inside of the bowel. This may cause diarrhea, bleeding from the rectum, blood in the urine, and increased frequency of urination. Scarring around the nerves in the radiation area might cause erectile dysfunction or impotence. Surgery may be recommended to repair scarring and narrowing of the bowels. After radiation therapy, you will be able to drive yourself home after each radiation treatment. Do not remove the marks on your skin until your health care provider or radiation therapist tells you. You can shower, but do not scrub the marked area. If your skin is dry and itching, apply the lotion or ointment recommended by your health care provider and wear loose clothing. Most itching will heal in two to three weeks after the last radiation treatment. If you experience a loss of appetite, eat several small meals of food that you like every day. Make sure your diet includes lots of protein so that your body can repair healthy cells. If you feel tired, rest and relax more frequently. You should stop feeling fatigue a few weeks after your last treatment session. Sometimes the mouth and throat become dry. Drink water during the day to avoid dryness or to feel better if it happens. Most prostate patients undergoing radiation therapy do not change their regular activities. Ask your health care provider if you can keep working and continue your regular activities during radiation treatments. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel.
Summary Radiation therapy is the use of high-energy radiation to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. External radiation therapy may come from a machine outside the body. Internal radiation therapy and brachytherapy comes from putting materials that produce radiation in the area where the cancer cells are found. Radiation therapy usually is given for prostate cancer that is not spread to other parts of the body, such as lungs and bones. Radiation therapy may also help stop the cancer from spreading further. During external beam radiation, a machine is used to aim high-energy x-rays to the cancer tissue. The machine changes positions so that the beams can enter from different angles. External beam radiation is a safe procedure that can help limit the growth of cancer in early stages or reducing pain in later stages. External radiation has early temporary side effects and potential long-term side effects. Learning about them will help you detect them early and treat them if they happen. Thank you for using Explain.